With variable inlay hints, VS Code will add inline type information showing you the type of variables in your JavaScript and TypeScript code. Now these are off by default, but I've turned them on here and you can see them in action where we're declaring a few variables. So if we look at snippet completions, for example, just a standard variable declaration in the TypeScript file here, and the inlay hint is shown right after that. So it's the promise void part here that has kind of the grayish colored background. Now, normally if I wanted to see the type of snippet completions, I could go and hover over snippet completions and we could see, oh yeah, it's promise void. But with the inlay hint, we can just look at the file and know that yes, this is a promise of void that we're getting back here. And that might not be obvious in the, if you're actually looking at the code, you'd sort of had to scan through this function here and see that, yeah, it's asynchronous and it's not returning anything. Uh, but with this inlay hint, it's very easy to go and see what the type of this uh, variable declaration is. We can see them in a few other places in the file as well. So on SW here, which is a stopwatch, you can see that, yes, that's a stopwatch. Pretty obvious in that case. But on list, for example, we can see that this list item might be a completion list or it might be null or undefined. And that can be helpful information when we're actually working with that variable. So we can just look at that inlay hint and we have a little bit more context on what's actually going on. And we don't have to go and inspect what provide completion items here, what that function call is going to return. Now, variable inlay hints are shown by default on any variable declarations that do not have their own type. So if I go and add a type declaration to something, either using the TypeScript syntax in TypeScript files or JavaScript JS doc comments, I'll just say this is any, you can see that the variable inlay hint is no longer going to be shown. It's, so it's only for uh, variables that do not have an explicit type annotation. Now, as I mentioned, variable inlay hints are off by default, but they're quite easy to enable. So I'm going to open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search inlay variable. And I want the JavaScript or TypeScript inlay variable var or inlay hints variable types enabled settings. So I can go and turn this on independently for JavaScript and TypeScript. You can see I had this enabled for TypeScript when we were looking at this code here. So that's a quick look at variable type inlay hints for JavaScript and TypeScript in VS Code. They can really help you understand what your code is doing at a glance.